Thank you for calling Volunteers of America of Oklahoma. This is Janet. How may I help you? <laughs> I love Larry. <laughs> I love coming to work. It's, it's not even work. It is coming here to hang out with him and take care of him, and that's just the best. We all need help sometimes. There are ways to go about it that where I don't have to ask for a handout, I need a hand up. And that's, that's what Volunteers of America did for me. Volunteers of America makes life easier and more affordable to live here, and I know they help so many other people. Volunteers of America is great. Ever since I was little, I always thought I was going to be on the streets or something. And see, I wasn't like this, you know, I'm, I was real, my mind was going away, going away from me. Volunteers of America has helped me out a lot in my life, and I thank them for that. I believe in Volunteers of America and what um, Volunteers of America stands for and the heart that this agency has. One of the things that I'm so proud of that we do every day is through our staff and their incredible work. We let the love shine through to take care of Oklahoma's most vulnerable. In our intellectual and developmental disabilities program, this year we had two staff members who were recognized for saving the life of a client that's been our client for over 20 years. In the beginning, after his accident, they thought he could have been mostly paralyzed for the rest of his life. So to make sure we are moving every muscle in his body every day has kept them from stiffening up. He has um, a weaker side, and we have to be extra careful with that side because it hurts more. Between the exercising that we have to do every day, he needs a lot of fun. So we play a lot of games together. I like to take him out as much as possible when the weather's nice and when he's feeling good. We enjoy going to the park, going for wheelchair rides. We go to the rodeo every year, um, which he loves. It seems like I've known him forever, but it hasn't really been that long. And that kind of makes me sad because, well, I'll know him the rest of my life because I will. <laughs> he's my best friend. <laughs> There's such a stigma associated with homelessness, but it's through sometimes no fault of their own. It may be serious mental health issues. Maybe it's a missed paycheck, domestic violence, and trauma in their life. This year, one of our uh, clients was reunited with his birth mother after a life of having lived in foster care. She was young when she had me, so I kind of remember her face, yeah. Oh. And I found my real name, what my real name was, so I figured it out like that. I would go into elevators that were open at night, but I have slept outside before, but it, it didn't last too long. I, I wake up in the middle of the night and just get off and start walking again. And I look at the situation I was in, and I'm like, man, uh, I need to tell somebody this kind of stuff, you know, because not everybody deserves to be on the street. And there's people out there that can help you, even if you don't think they can. Volunteers of America came along and got me out of jail and got me away from prison and stuff like that. I thank them for that. You know, I believe in them for that. And I like the way they're doing this program and everything that they're doing. Another service of Volunteers of America is our affordable senior housing. We provide housing to seniors in partnership, not only with our national office, but with a number of individuals in our state. And this year, we had the renovation of one of our major projects over in Oklahoma City called Meadowcliff. There's so many seniors in our apartment complexes that absolutely have enjoyed our senior playground. It's a senior wellness center. My uh, bank, my pharmacy, the grocery store, and uh, my doctor, they're all just within a mile here, so I, that's easy. The time comes, you know, that you can't, uh, you know, do all the things you do to keep a house up and everything. This is the next place to go. We have seniors helping seniors through our Retired Senior Volunteer Program out of Muskogee, who on a regular basis 
they're making sure that the services these folks might not get otherwise are being met. What this job has done for me, this, this volunteer services, is I can sit at home at night and I can sit there and just think about how lonesome I am because of it, you know, my husband's gone. I can sit and think about Samantha and Tracy and the people that I've got acquainted with. And it just brings, it brings a life to me. It makes me feel like that I've got a, a reason for living again. I've got a reason for being happy and it's okay to be happy. It, it's just marvelous. I, just, I, I love it. We serve veterans like Brian. They're being helped and they turn around and help others every day. I did 10 and a half years in the Navy. I was an instructor down in Wichita Falls, Texas, Shepherd Air Force Base. And then from there I got married and um, I um, was out of work for eight months. And I had never been without work that long. And I have a three-year-old son and um, my son had to eat, you know, so I did everything. I collected cans, I donated blood. I burnt what I felt every avenue before asking for help because it's humbling. You know, who wants to be a person that can't provide? Volunteers of America made a huge impact. They got me connected with these uh, barracks for vets because I was close to being put out of my home. That's how I was able to, you know, get my rent paid. Sometimes you have to put your pride aside. As a man of faith, I believe whatever it is that I've been through, it's not for me, it's for the next person that's looking, that's like, there's no help out there. And there is, you just have to be willing to take it as help and don't use it as an enabling tool to keep struggling. Across this state and even into Kansas, Volunteers of America is meeting the needs of our fellow citizens. With your help, we'll continue to do so for years to come. At Volunteers of America, our passion is to help Oklahoma's most vulnerable. We meet people where they are. With dignity and respect. Encouraging each journey. And empowering their steps. Walking side by side. Out of darkness of despair. We open windows of hope. And love shines through. There are a number of ways that you can get involved and support Volunteers of America. To understand more about our mission, I encourage you to attend a Lunch and Learn, take a tour of the agency, visit one of our affordable senior housing complexes, or reach out to any staff or board member with questions. And your financial contributions and support of our services are always sincerely appreciated. I promise, just like me, you will be forever touched by the stories of the people served by Volunteers of America.